Mike Robber. First tonight, a Beaumont ISD trustee suggests the school board has broken the law amid revelations of continued liberal spending. Welcome to 12 News HD. I'm Kevin Steele. And I'm Jackie Simeon. Thanks for joining us. Tonight, the board discussed more options to deal with its financial crisis. At one point tonight, BISD trustee Tom Neal asked acting CFO Bill Leinhart if the district is still spending money like it had money. Leinhart said yes. Before that, Texas Education Conservator Fred Schaefer confirmed to trustees they had spent at least $15 million of unbudgeted money. Neal says the Board of Trustees and the superintendent could now face a Class C misdemeanor. This while teachers are in fear of losing their jobs. 12 News reporter Augustine Garfias joins us in studio with the options trustees are weighing to reduce the number of layoffs. Augustine. Superintendent Dr. Timothy Shagwa tonight announced that teachers in the special education department will be one of the last areas affected by layoffs, if at all. But as you will see, the heat is still on for him to save as many teacher jobs as possible. And at least one more trustee has openly spoke in favor of deep cuts in administration. Beaumont ISD trustee Mike Neal made it clear Thursday he is at his wit's end when it comes to the financial mismanagement in the district. He places much of the fault on the superintendent for spending at least $15 million, not approved by the Board of Trustees. I have asked you meeting after meeting after meeting, are you coming back? And we've heard crickets. It'll be a cold day in hell when I give you more money and I'm only one vote. But you have screwed up this district. You have screwed people. Options were thrown out to save the district money and most of all, save teachers jobs. Currently, the district has spent almost $1 million on administrative travel. Neil suggests eliminating the cost and forcing employees to pay for their own travel. An option on the table is to eliminate the Head Start program, but no trustee was in favor of the idea. To possibly cut down the number of employees facing layoffs, Superintendent Dr. Timothy Shagwa says he is open to the idea of cutting pay across the entire district by 3 to 5 percent, a possible savings of up to $6 million. Something the administration is also suggesting is making employees pay higher insurance premiums. Coupled all together, Trustee Janice Broussard said she would not agree to it and would rather see deep cuts in administration first. With the insurance increase as well as a 3% pay cut because it was a rumor that had been circulating around it's about $5,000. I don't know about anybody else, but I can't afford to lose $5, let alone 5000 Trustee Woodrow Reese asked the TEA conservator 